Oh, shit. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Community Service Podcast. Check me out on tour. I'll be in Westport, Missouri, near St. Louis, October 12th through 14th. Um, Everett, Washington, Davenport, Iowa, Rochester, New York, Denver, Colorado. Link coming soon. They haven't sent to me yet. Philadelphia, Washington, D.C., Springfield, Massachusetts. I got a bunch of tour dates coming in 2024 too. Check me out. And now I have my guest, uh, my Irish brother, Colin Tyrell. He's crazy. He's funny as shit. Check out his special. Check out his tour. Check him out on my pod right now. We get crazy. We get a little dicey. What's up? What's up? I don't know. Oh, you're good? Okay, yeah. Tune in right now. I love you all. Thank you. Let's heal with love and life. Fuck the devil. West side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so when you your cats was clawing at this thing, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. That's how change from phone no, 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 no. Are we rolling? Yeah. Yeah, we're getting that in, bro. If we would fucking start like that, doggy. Really? I don't like these professionals' intros. I can't even talk. Did you hear that? No. So I'm like in? you. Eid, 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 eid. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right. He, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, all right, this is how we're going. He's already making fun of me. Of course, doggy, with love, though. Much yeah. respect. I was checking I, out your shit. I love it. Oh, thanks. Go hard man. in the paint. Fuck those pussies. That's what I say. <laughs> yeah. I'm an edge lord, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the alt, alt right. I'm here to. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> school the woke. The woke. Wait, alt right. That's that. Is that Nazi? That is Nazi, I think. Oh, but, yeah, yeah. But yeah. They, okay, too far. Too not, far. <laughs> not, they wear nice clothes. They, uh, they definitely had the more uh, designer in World War II. Oh, if you Nazis just look at the sure. helmets, yeah. you look at those little pan Britain ones. You're like, what are you? What are you trying to get gold flakes here? You know, <laughs> you just, what, are you, yeah. what are you a miner in in war? I'm just saying. I'm obviously mm. fuck the Nazis and what they did, but the helmets Disclaimer. were much cooler. <laughs> were much cooler. Oh, the Nazis just they just look good. That's just the fact. You know? <laughs> some some armies look terrible. You ever see some army? <laughs> you ever see some armies and they look terrible? We're just starting out hot, bro. No, no, no. Disagree Holy with the message. Shit. Disagree with the message. Yeah. The Germans <laughs> as a people, fine people. Yeah. The SS arm of the nazis no good no good now no good but you ever see armies and they look goofy like they'll have hats and stuff like fedoras or whatever yeah. Yeah, every now and again they'll show you like some like you know some country near korea you've never even heard of and you'll see them all and they're dressed like you know, goofy hat like yeah, the like french AC hammer pants and the and french a, and a fedora you can't, you can't wear an art cap and threaten me you know oh, with the french? they got the little the, they got the bidet over here what's it called they there's no way bonnet bonnet, bonnet. bonnet. beret that's why I said beret. <laughs> There's no way they wear berets at war, I'm though. I'm it right now. But like day. Rambo wore one. Rambo's a gangster. So maybe berets. Rambo not. wore the red thing he tied around his head oh. in Vietnam. But then who wore who wore the berets? So oh, I guess he did too. We wear the berets. Green, the, the green Monets. berets, right? They wear. Oh them? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's in the name. <laughs> beret sick. I've, I've, I challenge you. <laughs> Your anti-beret <laughs> propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> no, but every now and again, oh, every now and then, they, they usually have like long rifles, like weird, like white w w w rifles and like cowboy boots and a hat. You'll always just see these random Asian countries where their armies just look ridiculous. Well, they're Asian. I'm just, <laughs> oh, no. We're okay. Whoop. And it, whoop. <laughs> it's jokes, y'all. We're oh, yeah. just jokes. I got love in my heart. Have you ever had an Asian on the pod? Never. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <I'm> kidding. <laughs> Of course, they're some of my best friends. <laughs> <laughs> a quick, we go through, through the never been an Asian. But you're like, going, of course. <laughs> not, there's, not, not, there's, not, there's, not, there's a lot of them, but there's not many of them. You know what I mean? So it's not easy. So they're small people. You know? Yeah. No, too far. We're just, oh my God, I'm getting. How, <laughs> oh, you're going to cancel me off my own pod? We're just jokes. It's all love. I'm still high on ayahuasca. Really? A little bit, yeah. Did some ayahuasca, like full ayahuasca, just some DMT, or what was it? Full ayahuasca, two two day weekend retreat. I'm not high on it, but it stays in your system about a week if you eat clean and don't eat fucking bacon all day. You know, Did you eat fruits and veggies. Have, is that what you've been doing? Foraging? No, fruits and veggies. I mean I've been eating pretty clean, just like light chicken. You know, mm. where did you go for that? Do you stay here? In the hills. It's like an hour Ooh. outside LA and shit. It's wild. Yeah, a long time. You've probably talked about it on your pod a lot, but I've never met anyone that's done it in America. 
I can't stop talking about it. It's well, you do it and see what you could talk about. <laughs> yeah, of course. You're like, oh, I surfed the spirit realm this weekend. Oh, wait, was People it? are like, it's all you talk about. I'm like, well, yeah. Yeah, it's a big Yeah, you fucking. <laughs> it's a big thing. You climb Mount Everest, you're going to talk about it a while, all right? Yeah. You're going to fucking talk about it. Mm. I was riding a 70 foot tsunami. Oh, this guy won't shut up about it. <laughs> it's quite the event. It's quite the event. <laughs> <laughs> this poor guy just met me he's like craig's cracked out man that's all right it's all right we all are i expected it and so was it physically demanding though the ayahuasca like are you puking a lot all of it yeah was there a shaman guy oh for sure was he peruvian or something or he's native he just, he's a guy native he's, american he's, he's one of those guys he's um, something he's something he's a brown you guy, gotta right? be leave yeah. me alone hey look, you can't say that he's no, shaking his head he's no. my moral compass every time i look up he's going like i don't this. i don't and i'm like oh no edit edit sometimes he's, you give people though a benefit of the doubt and i don't typically want a white shaman i don't don't want a white get shaman. out of here no white offense. boy get out of here before you, you fucking do, nazi before get you do your, any more harm get your ss shaman ways out of yeah. here i don't trust you white beard there's no, there's some white, good white guys. This, but we're joking. There's we're not. Fucking there's joking. not. <laughs> Name one good white guy. <laughs> ready for this? Hey, ready? Kill Whitey. Yeah. Okay. Oh no, he went. Even he backed down on that one. <laughs> Kill Whitey. <laughs> that sounds horrible. <laughs> we're joking. No, no, no. I'm sure. Actually, some of the OGs. Well, Jesus was white, according to all the pictures painted by the white man. I, I see no it's argument a, there. It's jokes. It's jokes. <laughs> um. No, there's for sure some white fools. It's every, it's every eclectic. I'm not gonna name them anymore because of anonymity. But it's, it's a Mexican fool, an Armenian fool, an Indian fool, a white lady, a this, a that. Yeah. And it, it's all, it's, it's, you know, when you're on the sauce, there are no races. Okay. <laughs> you just, <laughs> I see you in the spirit world, shaman. Nice. And how long does it last for? Uh, six to eight hours. Wow. And it goes like heavy waves, like most hallucinogenics um yeah this one's more i would say like if you don't connect you're not gonna see shit you know you have to turn off your mind mm. and then connect and then whoosh, light show was there a whole blast off there was the whole ceremony thing oh like, yeah it's, it's all it's very safe intentions protections all that like homework it's not like for funsies yeah you're there to puke up some molestations you know what i'm saying yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i'm less <people. laughs> no, no. whoops no uh, get out of my butt <laughs> uh, i've done dmt loads of times never done the full ayahuasca retreat yeah that's, it's that's, DMT that's pussy boy shit is it? Be a man. <laughs> all right then fine Good. i'll go i'll go I'll fucking i'll dance with a charity or whatever you want me to do <laughs> In L.A., some guy called Bradley <laughs> Cooper. <laughs> some guy, yeah. You're the shaman's sh Bradley Cooper. Shaman Bradley, and he's just, yeah. Namaste. Yes. Have you seen Limitless yet? <laughs> oh, I said that wrong. Limitless. Limitless. Uh, Come on, yeah, man. Carry my podcast for me. I'm struggling. <laughs> Help me out, bro. Limitless. Uh, no. Hang hangover. <laughs> the name of Bradley Cooper movies. <laughs> it's like he's done two movies, really. I don't know. Yeah, that's it. That's yeah, it. Hangover two, and three. Yeah. So that's it. So you've never been in anything ever. That was your first and final time doing ayahuasca. No, that was my eleventh and twelfth time this year. Oh well, okay. Well, that's too much. That's insane. That, that's, that defeats the entire purpose of the. That's that's like rehab, you know. It's just like yeah, rehab works. I've been there, I've been sounds, there ten times. Sounds like some pussy boy talk over there. Eleven is nuts. That's crazy. Okay, bro. I wouldn't go to a chiropractor eleven times in a year. What the fuck are you talking? You went and then. And that's why you got a hump back. <laughs> you talk about surfing, fucking energy from God's dick or whatever. Hey, you've been there eleven times. There's Nice dick. God's got a nice dick. <laughs> Her dick is beautiful. Okay, fantastic. That sounds like the devil to me. Oi, shots fired. Um, Anyways, how are you? I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm glad we're we're in a nice part of California. Yeah, but oh yeah, let's LA. talk about that. You're staying with the uh, Andy Hiffcliff. No, <laughs> what's his name? Alex, Alex Flynn. Yeah, that's why. Young said. Alex Flynn. Young beautiful Alex Flynn. Yeah, I love that guy. Very funny. Guy. He's on the Don't Tells. You might recognize him. The Don't Tells. Oh, I do know. Beautiful okay. little guy. Yeah, but yeah, it's funny. yeah. He's one of these weird comedians that doesn't often happen. He's off stage, he's insane, just running around like a dog, knocking things over, you know. And then as soon as he's on stage, he just stops and goes all dry, and it's just like, 
Joe, like real. Slow. Wow, it's really weird. I wonder if that's like I'm the fucking s- up with his system. Uh, yeah, it is. I was like, I'm the same. You know, yeah, I'm the weirdo here and there. Yeah, yeah, but that's not the same. <laughs> yeah, still, you're, you're very much yourself on stage. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. Yeah, where he's not, he he turns into this fucking. He's like the fucking very mature on stage, and then off stage he's a moron. Dude, I just zoned out. Did you see that? I was time traveling again. Pretty sick. <laughs> um, <laughs> 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 I gave this fool an expired coffee. He's like, you sure I can have it? I'm like, fool, it's been in there for two years. Take it. Really? The cold brew? <laughs> yeah, and then he drank it and it tasted funny. He's like, this thing's expired. I said, drink it, pussy. You want to talk to God? Drink some <laughs> fermented cold brew from two years ago. Some aged cold brew. <laughs> that, might, sure. that one might be talk to the devil over there. I don't know about that. Some aged cold brew. Probably, yeah. 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 You won't see for a week now on that thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's great. It's fucking curdled coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's not creamed, but yeah. Yeah. It's not bad. It's lumpy. Yeah. No, you it's, sh- got, yeah, it's got boba in it. Yeah, keep drinking it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just scrape off the film on the top. Drink the boba. Uh yeah, so why has it been there for two years? What's going on? Never had any. I don't really like the flavor anymore. I went to Lee's Vietnamese Coffee. Love the Asians. See? Lee's Buy their Vietnamese. coffee support. I'm voting for VC. Fuck America. Oh, just kidding. That was just that <laughs> war. You know, we are all of them, really. We kind of just, you know, bomb people. Anyways. Yeah. It's not yeah. bad. It's like a, yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's a tradition as good as any other. Yeah, I'm just all over the place. I had coffee. You know? Got you all fucking. Uh-huh. Gave you the jitters. Yeah. I love mm. it. That's my baby. Coffee. It's the last drug I got. Weed. I've been trying to quit it. Oh, I, m- something tells me you haven't tried at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it's, it's, I got, I've been trying to think. <laughs> something tells me you do not. You've been trying to quit. You do nothing but get high all day. I bet. I just, there's no way he does even a second. <laughs> this guy got cameras on me, bro. <laughs> yeah. I've been, been trying to cut back. What are you, the fed star? <laughs> Who's fucking this guy? I don't guy. get up in the middle of the night and hit this a bong guy. anymore. <laughs> what? I gave my bong to my daddy. I only did have you? joints. <laughs> okay. Mm. You need one? I got a couple. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I'll be on your couch for the day. Would you I... like some curdled coffee? Uh, no. no. No, I know. But it doesn't sound as bad when you say like that. You don't coffee. smoke weed? I do, yeah, but not really. Not actively. Like, I smoke it at night and stuff like that. Yeah. I won't drive if I'm high. Good man. You're Irish, though, so I'm assuming you drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. You guys yeah. in that drink. For my sins. Yeah. Love getting embarrassingly drunk. Although, I got to stop. I recently got drunk recently. And I, I, like, you know, I woke up the next day from the bar. I was like, I'm too old now to be like texting people. Like, did I say something bad? Or, you know, yeah. I was like, would, would Joe Rogan carry himself like this? No. Joe Rogan's no. fucking karate chopping. A fucking He's got buffalo. discipline. You know? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And I'm there, like, people are helping me in an Uber because it's like four o'clock in the morning. I'm like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm too old now. I'm 33. You know, yeah, fuck that shit. I, I'm on YouTube now. Things yeah. have changed, all right? Yeah, Things are, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard, but I'm on YouTube. Yeah, me too, bro. What do you think? <laughs> yeah. 50,000 subscribers. Oh, dog. nice. Woo. Ooh. I just hit 20. I'm, uh, I was happy uh, until I heard about your 50. And hey, now. go his way. Send him some love. Six Dude, followers. Get, get over there. Get over here. <laughs> Check out my special. Yeah, I was watching some of it. It's just funny. You're Thanks, go- Doug. You're going hard. That's why I like it. And then we immediately got racist out the top. It was fantastic. Me and you? No, a poquito. Just uh, we didn't get racist. We said that the Nazis were <laughs> misunderstood. <laughs> that's not. That's, that's not. <clears throat> it's not racist and at all. And that's why we keep giving them money in Ukraine. Yeah, they do. Have keep you gone money. down that rabbit hole? So Look I up can't. Ukrainian football games. Soccer, <laughs> football, americano. Um, and they all do. They go do. They do the Nazi stuff. But the the hands? Yeah, I ain't doing it. You do it. <laughs> I didn't. I was, the whole I was... <laughs> the whole arena, the whole arena. What do you do? Not like? two, not tw- like twenty thousand people doing it. It's scary. I'm like, and we're giving the money, and you... it's even in the CNN videos. They can't even edit it. You saw that one where that guy did it, and they're like, oh hey, look over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Whoopsie. And so we're funding Nazis, but what to if, fight the Russians. What if you do? What if you do a salupa with the left hand? I'm just gonna. Is that, hey! is that more? Yeah, but is that more? Like, is this worse or is that the opposite? Like, am I fighting that? Like, they put up their right hand and we put the left hand. I don't know. That's on you, Tiger. What if I do my left? I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out. Of here. Yeah, all you need is someone to switch the switch the image. Then there you go. <laughs> Whatever. There's plenty of me doing salutes online. There's plenty. Mm. Of me. 
Check out a special. Check out my special. <laughs> <laughs> the odd all audience. Is <laughs> Just uh, <laughs> Dude, hey, what's it called? The alt right. No. The alt right. No, you're you're on Gas Digital, right? That's awesome. No, what Gas Digital. No, there. Gas Digital. Uh, yes, yeah, so produced sh- it. Yeah, so shout out to Lewis J Gomez. His special is also on YouTube right now. It's part of the series called Thirty Minutes with. So pretty much the same way that uh, Comedy Central would have produced half hours every year. Um, Gas oh. Digital said, which is primarily just a podcasting company, just wanted to like branch out into a new thing. So they picked six people, myself, Rich Karen Ross, Freehan, right? Karen Feehan is not Feehan. in it. No, Karen Feehan's not in it. She was not good enough to be picked. Oh, huh. and, and it's pretty <laughs> sore subject for her. Because she realized how unfunny she is because she wasn't picked. So hey. That's pretty bad to, for you to bring that up because she's really upset. I, she's really upset that she didn't get it because she did not. She wasn't even in the top. She wasn't even in the running to get it. And we will not clip no, this up. She was She was not even in the running to get Hey, man, I don't know. I'm, like, I'm West Coast. No one I even thought y'all are in cahoots <laughs> over there. <laughs> I, I, like, I love it. I love comics I lifting up other comics. Uh, it's fucking fire. There's a few good. Yeah, there was um, Kurt Metzger is great and uh, the rest. But like, check out Lewis too. Dave Smith. Um, from Legion of Skanks but uh, everyone has a special every single person has five YouTube specials and a million clips of them asking in the front row what they do for a living I don't know what's going on I don't know what's going on I'm, I need to find a new job where I sell stuff I find on the ground I can help you like a hobo style yeah, lifestyle yeah, yeah, yeah. where I'm just I got you bro you th- you me Unande Benjamin playing the flute outside of Target you want to make a little band yeah what am I playing Do-do-do-do. No, it just a wander. He turned into a wander, and he's been on my mind. That's so funny. He just wanders? Yeah, and plays the flute. Who? Andre Benjamin that- 3000 of Outcast. Outcast? You know, oh, Andre 3000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen him wander. He walks around the East uh, the Greenwich Village. Yeah, isn't that cool? I did see him. I don't know if this how this could, you can take this, but I saw him walking down the street, and then I said to someone, I go, I hope this doesn't sound racist, but that guy looks just like Andre 3000. And, he goes, and it was. He goes, that is Andre 3000. Uh-huh. And I go, not a racist. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> I saw him at Universal City Walk in uh, North Hollywood at like a hot topic. And I was like, yo, I was with my lady at this time. And I was, it was high school shit. I was like 17, 16, 17. And then I was like, so hey, this want, is like want to smoke a this joint? This like peak podcast? Yeah. This is them right and there. he said he had a new album coming out. And it was, it was, uh, Bombs over Baghdad, Stankonia. It was before Stankonia. Okay. He's like, hey, check my new album come out. It's called Stankonia. And I was like, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, that was cool. He was very nice. And he said he quit weed. He said he quit weed a year or two before. Really? He was a big stoner. <laughs> yeah. That's. What he I, had that good song. Like, what, remember the girl? Remember the milkshake girl? What was her name? My milkshake bring all the boys to the yard. Khalees? Yeah, the two of them collabed and he had a good song. What was mm-hmm. it? It was like, Mama, I'm a Millionaire or something. Do you remember that? No. If you got, what is it? If Mom? you got bitches, you got riches. If you got riches, you got glitches. <laughs> Never all that. I <laughs> bitches I, only have to put their paws on your riches. <laughs> I probably heard it five million times, but my brain is farting right now. I love when you hear these songs, you go, that was like the biggest song in 2007 for like four months, and then no one ever played it again yeah. once. And then you hear it and you go, what the what fuck? The fuck? Yeah, that's not good. I don't think that holds up. A lot of that music does not hold up. I think a lot of Usher, a lot of stuff like Usher does not hold up. I think. To the sweat drip down yeah. my balls. Yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah, A lot of that 2000 e bullshit. Yeah, sucked. Yeah. Usher, uh, sure. you giving everybody herpes. I get it, bro. I get it. I I also plead the fifth. <laughs> that's all you did was just it's well within your rights to not tell that someone you're giving them herpes. I think that I've read the Constitution. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're not. No, we're in there to say, hey, baby. By the way, sometimes I get some blisters. <laughs> um. But also, it's like I'm not sure. Was that the 14th Amendment? I tell you this. I didn't read that far. Who would you rather? Who, honestly, grand, well, grand scheme of things, who would you rather catch? There's lots, most people out there who Derek have, have, Jeter or who, Usher. For Herp? This, was I'm he, going Jeter. Was Jeter spreading it too? Oh, yeah. He got caught. He gave all the women herpes, but he gave them like good tickets to the game the next day. <laughs> did he? He did. He gave, them, he gave them all gift baskets. So are we to believe that Jennifer Lopez has herpes? She does? What, weren't they dating? Oh, weren't they I'd rather get it from her than Derek or. Uh, well, no, no, was it sure? No, A Rod. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry, I get them confused. I'm a foreign. He looks like he has herp too. 
<laughs> he has to have the herp. He has to have He was herp. notorious for it. No just... one can be that handsome without herp, you know? <laughs> Look at his shoulders. That just screams, I have herpes. I'm immune. I don't know what happened. I think it's a sea cell. Allegedly. I don't have it. No, I'm talking about these people you're slandering. Oh, oh yeah. We're just joking. Oh, yeah, we're comedians. Yeah. If you take... Even though they went to court for it. Yeah. Oh, sure. It definitely has it and definitely spread it. And yeah. Definitely, and got, definitely went to court. Willingly court. decided not to tell anyone before. Yeah. Because like, she, she'd be like, you're clean, right? And he'd be like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> he, he, went, he went, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> he just played his song. Yeah. No, Your Honor, I was singing your song. No, it's hits. I got hits. I hit, I sang my song. Don't worry about a condom, baby. I ain't got no herpes, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a whole song about it. Don't take me to court now, baby. Oh, shit. Would you rather get herpes from Usher or a local guy down the bar? Because most people get herpes from just some fucking yeah. trailer. It's Fragile. better than Bill behind the bar, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, just he some, ain't going to give you money. Some, of you, he, some union electrician. He's going to give you a shot. Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm so sorry I'm a dirty birdie. It is what it is. It's just an STD. Grow up. You it grow goes away. So, uh, and then it comes <laughs> it back. It goes away. It goes and comes and goes. <laughs> right? Yeah, ride the wave. This is the way it is, man. Ride the herpes wave. <laughs> It's herpes is fine. You can walk it off. Everyone has herpes. Yeah. That's what my doctor told me. I, I, my lady. I told this story before, but it's worth sharing again. An ex lady of like five girlfriends ago. Oh God, I gotta get my Play life together. <laughs> no, and uh, she, she, she came to me crying. She's like, oh, I got herpes and some shit, but I was still horny, so I just put a bandaid on it and some Neil Sporin, and I still hit it. But then I got in my head. I was like, I better go to the doctor. I just hit herpes, you know. I was like, do I got herpes? And to where the point to, he got mad at me because the test came back. You do not have it. And I was like, I got it. And he's like, what do you want to have it? You don't fucking got it, bro. <laughs> Stop, get the fuck he got out mad of, at me. He like yelled at me. And then yeah. he said this. I'll never forget this. He goes, do you want to marry this girl? And I go, no. And he goes, break up with her. And then I was like, why did you ask that? Because he said, if I, I did want to marry her, he's like, it's just fucking herpes. It's blistered. It goes away. They pop up once a year. Big whoop. If you love her be with her and then i was like no isn't that funny that's what he said doctor doctor's good hey, doctor babe you have a note from the doctor babe we gotta break up yeah. <laughs> stop babe i can't look I, I, medically doctor's orders I, babe, not enough love and you know i care about not enough respect for <laughs> <laughs> you came over there. Babe, was a, they, babe i was diagnosed with uh, breaking up at you. <laughs> I, what is wrong with me? I just put a band aid over it. That's crazy. Yeah, would that's you, nuts. I would you have done that? Mm -mm. Would you have done that? I fucked a girl who had herpes, but she ha wasn't breaking out at the time. <laughs> so she goes, just so you know, I have herpes, but I'm not. I haven't had a breakout. You did the same thing. But no, no, yours was during a breakout. Yours was during. Hey, I you, put some ace bandages. <laughs> over I know it. you fucking. I covered it up. <laughs> says five Hail Marys. <laughs> put some Vaseline, <laughs> <laughs> some oil, petroleum based I product. I spit on it and I closed my eyes. <laughs> what more could I do? What more could a man? <laughs> I had that good Skittle spit. It covered it up real good. <laughs> I sp uh, yeah, I spit some milk. Taste the rainbow. <laughs> Put some Listerine down there. It's all good. And if you're, you know what? You're right. You I got a that? Listerine story, actually. Oh, please. <laughs> I drank used motor oil as a kid because my dad put the used motor oil in, in, in two liter and three liter bottles. So I just saw soda, but it was ah. used motor oil. So I was a kid in the garage. I went, gulp, 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 oh, right no. before the movies. And I went, what? And I threw up oil. Black used motor oil. And then I wanted to go to the movies. I think it was Independence Day. And uh, and I was a kid, you know. I, w I didn't want to say, hey, I just drank used motor oil. We can't go to the movies. So I was like, what will kill the germs? And I went to my mom's bathroom. And I drank Cool Mint Listerine to kill Ooh. the germs. And then my stomach just hurt <laughs> so bad. And I went to the movies. <laughs> <laughs> But you're just like burping. Up. <laughs> oh my god! It's like, what is wrong with this nine-year-old? <laughs> it's like a minty car. Yeah, yeah, engine. yeah, yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> burping. <laughs> That's insane. Oh my god! Well, I, can, I can't even imagine. The, Everything the makes shit. sense, Chris. It all makes sense. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I drank used Morocco. I can't even talk. Use motor oil. Use motor <laughs> Bareback and herpes. Yeah, look. It's, you Got know. my dick drilled. You've always been in L.A.? 
<laughs> born and raised, yeah. I was born in the hood down that way. Harbor City, and then raised in Torrance and Lomita. Lomita. Uh, yeah, South Bay. My family's from the harbor area, oh, the nice. ports. Yeah. You know, it's a lovely area. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, don't go there. Danger, danger. Nice. Well, uh, it's nice out there. I like yeah. it. This is the first time I've been to LA where I like I rented a car so I can just drive around because Uber stink out here. Dude, I'll take you on a little mini tour. I don't know how if you got time. Just a shh, shh. but yeah, yeah, do you? I don't. You know. Yeah. It's not every day. Yeah, because this corner. Oh, bro, it's the shit. Yeah, it's, it's the fucking shit. I took Karen on a quick little drive, um, and uh, I just assume you're homies who was not selected for the. Okay, are you challenge. guys homies or mortal? <laughs> no, no, we're okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's why I'm bringing her up so much. I just want to remind everyone that Karen Fien was not good enough. For <laughs> that either means they're the closest series. friends in the world, no. or they're mortal enemies. <laughs> and I can't tell. I'm like, oh shit, am I doing bad things right now? Just starting a war. <laughs> no, um, you never bring up their enemies. You always go. Don't know them or whatever. Oh, but yeah, the, yeah. Then your friends are like, nah, that person sucks. Yeah. Just spread herb. That's fine. Spread her. <laughs> She's a herb. <laughs> She's spreading herb. That was my ex lady. That the band, no, it's <laughs> jokes. <laughs> These are jokes. I'm sorry. No, no, this is real. It's all love and light. <laughs> love and light. Heal it's your all herb. illusion. Namaste. <laughs> Put some um, honey on it. Antiseptic. Huh? Anyways, what are we talking about? Did I say what? You didn't tell him about your, the drilling experience he was asking. Oh, I don't know. Want to get into that. <laughs> so many dick traumas. I had a hematoma. My left testicle and my ball swelled up this big. Mm. I was circumcised at 20, and I got my dick rode over rooted by metal rods three times, three to five rods each visit. For what? What was that? What's the rods? That my dick hole was closing up and I couldn't pee so good. I was spraying everywhere. Ah, so they have to like fucking <laughs> open up the urethra? Yeah. yeah. Cause you, know, if you didn't have like insurance or whatever, you could probably just finger do that yourself, right? I use Q-tips. What's it called? Docking or something? What's that? Sounding. Called? What's sounding? It? Sounding is when yeah. you stick things. I down got a in metal it. rod. Oh, that gives I me try the to. I, I try to show Chris every time. He's like, "No, don't do it." <laughs> no, I say, "Look at my every, dick every, rod, Chris." Every, every now and again, you want that money, boy? Look at this dick rod, and it's in there like that. So you, like, I'm gonna get sued for this later. <laughs> no, you can get sued for. You don't sue your... me, pussy boy. Put it on paper. This is all satire. I alleged. Hey, <laughs> that's crazy. So you have to like you you Q-tip it up yourself, and then eventually yeah, and then and then uh, it this, was closing. This up. is a joke, but it's true. Then the Q-tip fuzz would come out of my dick hole, and it looked like a little Fu Manchu, you know that oh, beard. Oh yeah, I have whiskers yeah. on the tail, or like one of those little elf. One and of those I'd, little. Go and I'd say to my girl like, "Hey, come look at my whiskers." <laughs> <I'm not. She's> still... <laughs> They're like, "No, yeah." Um, it was like the haircut. What was those little toys? Remember the little gnome trolls? Toys? Trolls, yeah, yeah. trolls, and they had the long <laughs> yeah, the hair. troll tip. <laughs> the troll, I tip. troll tip. I told so many of that, and they ne they <laughs> fell out laughing so fucking hard. They're just like, D I got the visual on <laughs> the whisker tip. It is like, yeah, <laughs> it's so <a> little funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's Whisker Dick over there. Don't talk to him. <laughs> He's immune to herp, though. He's a nice guy. Herp can't get me. <laughs> herp can't get me. <laughs> Oh, here, take this. Mine's no, Here's what I'll do. I'll put this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, I got yours. It says Lucy Goosey. Yeah, a fan made me that. Deadlight Visions. And then, then a fan gave me this. Um, Four Arrows Creations. I don't know if they made that, but a sweet fan gave me my little coffee one. I just love it. It's so cute. Um, so what's going yeah. on? Is COVID back? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hoax, bro. That shit's a lie. No way. I don't it's believe. all bullshit. I don't believe in the past. Fuck the feds. Past never happened. Yeah, it never <laughs> happened. I remember what happened. They locked us up and ruined the world. Do you guys remember? Don't obey. Do not comply. And I mean it. Allegedly. <laughs> we got to build our own city. Like, remember yeah. Chaz? Remember Chaz? <laughs> Strap up. Remember Chaz up in Portland where they just built their own little city? Mm -mm, what's that one? They never heard of Chaz. You never heard of Chaz? I know a comic named Chaz. What's Chaz? I forget the act. It was an acronym. It stood for like uh, Commu something. Communist something. Autonomous zone. They like just yeah. decided this part of. Uh, so they just fourth. They they built a city in the middle of uh, Portland where they just blocked off all the roads. Is it for sensitivity like, or is it no. to fuck the? No, it, it was like an, an anti. It was, it was like, like an it, anarchist thing. Yeah. So they were like the government. We don't recognize the United States of America. Anarchy it, is the, the way, even though I have it in my soul. It's it's community. That's how you beat them. They can't control us all. They can't kill us all. 
Canadian they had like a loose up, unite movement yeah. movement fuck your mask fuck your jab suck my dick you know yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i mean it i ain't saying allegedly on that mm. mm-hmm I think the key to life is just, you know, do do uh, a lot of drugs and play PlayStation and die young <laughs> in a car crash. That's like the how to do it. Nah, man. That's like the, that's like, that's as good as it gets. We're going to fight. No, no, no. We're going to fight. <laughs> Get some opiates. Play, oh, play, no, some, don't play say some that. Madden. Ooh. And then, and then, <laughs> How do you think my dick hole closed then, up? And Those and opiates <laughs> got it real good. And then, you gotta, <laughs> and then you die in a quad bike accident, which is pretty high high in this country oddly enough it's a high rate of quad bike deaths <laughs> in this country did it's you a know good that? country that's freedom did you know that that's the, freedom the mainstream media aren't reporting on these quad bike deaths I'd rather die of that yeah you know yeah yeah that's a good way to go yeah legend yeah attempt on a fucking flip on a quad <laughs> <laughs> oh, i uh gone. i'm scared of those fuckers i won't go gone too soon and you go really everyone else in your family's a loser so he was probably going to also be a loser. He wasn't gone too soon at all. He was. You think that was the one? The guy who was quad biking he at saved midnight? Some oxygen. The guy who drank a four loco and went quad biking at 2 a.m. That was the guy who had a big future ahead of him. He had a big heart. He had. He was never going to amount to nothing. <laughs> I would agree with you. There's always a chance. I'm going to say that at funerals. Yeah. Stop crying. I want you to speak at mine. That'll be a good one. 19 years is plenty enough to know he was never going to achieve nothing. He saw me speak at a funeral at you, darts, right? Yeah. Darts? Yeah, my homie passed, and his and he was a big gay dude. He was a charismatic fool. He used to teach hip hop, and mm. then he got bad knees, and he had to come work at Trader Joe's with me and Chris. Uh, it gets getting sad. <laughs> no. And then uh, he passed because he liked his, you know, he liked his ways, his drinking, his eating, his smoking. Yeah, of course. And uh, what did he have gout? Oh yeah. yeah, he had all the things. Gout's good. Yeah, I want to get gout. My mom and daddy have gout. They get. My mom says she has a boner toe because her her toe gets all ah, stiff. What's it's quite well, what, funny. what? How did she get the gout? Was it from like just oh years of not eating, right? Yeah. yeah but what, but what choice. was the? Because if you have like a fucking Bordeaux and a fucking beef Wellington, like the old the oh yeah, usually turkey red egg, meat, rich bullshit. foods, lobster, creamy. That's great. Yeah, and deep red, dark red wines. Yeah, or whatever. but you also hear that people who get it from fucking like Wendy's, and you go, ah, it's like a sad <laughs> way. You yeah. get it, get Ooh. it, get it good. Get, get it. it to lobster and steak. Yes, like, yes. Not a double Wendy. <laughs> and being at a being at some sort of a, a merry man fest thing. Oh, hey, yeah. hey, yeah. gout. For yeah. The, yes. And you, <laughs> hey, hey. Give me gout. Bring the dick rods. <laughs> More gout. Oh, no. Yes. Um, I don't remember what I was talking about. Yeah, Dart's we were... funeral. Oh, oh shit. Did get a speech? <laughs> oh, yeah. They were, they were, uh, he, was a, he was a gay dude, and they were a little, you know, home. you heard it. They say things like, God, have mercy on your soul, because they're Christians. They're, I okay. think they're Southern Baptist. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> Southern Baptist. I got up there, and I told the story how Dart would give me hugs and squeeze my booty. And I always asked, like, to let me touch it or see it or something. And mm. I said, uh, now that he's gone, I, I wish he would have. I wish I would have gave him a squeeze. You know, I should have get. I should have Yeah, him a peep. I should have gave him one freebie. And Give, then the, now that he's gone, I, I wish I gave him a peep. That's good. And I they like shut that. down the mic after. Oh, you got. You got <laughs> oh, they. Oh, they, you know, they, and they, they went. They, and they and I was like the off. second or third person. Is that playing the the few oh, music? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one got some. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I don't Just know what. Play anything. Yeah, play. Yeah. On the thing, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's a do, 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 do. No, that's all I know. Do, 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 do. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a pretty funny story. Yeah, that's sick. Funerals are in are naturally like, dude, funny, American fun, funniest probably days of life because they're like it's like it's just not supposed to be funny. <laughs> so then, like the little smallest yeah. thing just gets you going. My mom and aunts and uncles have been kicked out of several funerals. America mm-hmm. has the funniest funeral story. I, it made me want to rework mine, you know, because we went, R.I.P. Brian Marino, he he passed, but he's a comic, he's a good dude, and uh, his funeral was insane, and Amir tells the story of it, dude, the, I'm not going to do it any justice, go catch Amir K live and, and say, hey, tell the funeral story, and then the priest had like a thick accent, and it was during uh, Christmas, I think, it was during the holiday weekend, and no one was in town, nobody was here, No, the, like a... And like this fool had an accent, like thick, where you could barely understand him. And then he said, like, because there was a homeless guy passed out on the front of the steps, and he's like, 
He, you could clearly tell he didn't know Brian at all, not for one second. And he did zero homework, zero research, zero, like he's reading the name off the notes. And then he said this, he said like, you're like asking, he's improvising, like why? Why, why Brian? Why not that homeless guy on the steps? <laughs> yes. Bro, we were all like, <laughs> what? Why and, not that useless homeless fuck? <laughs> and we're like, yes. dog, I mean, we agree with you, but you're not supposed That's to say That's crazy. This. Wasn't the whole point of the church? I was like, let him in type of thing? Like, <laughs> and, and Amir tells this story on stage <laughs> and tells it 50 million times better. And it's all true. It's all fucking so true. Funny. I was there. It was crazy. These? It was crazy. Yeah. We were just like, what the fuck? But it was it was a comedic wedding, you know? As sad. I'm sure <laughs> Brian would have appreciated that. You know, I'd be like, damn, this is funny. These uh yeah, these priests or whatever, they must like they must have show up to a funeral one time where they didn't have enough time to prep and they kinda w- just wing it and then they said, Oh, I kinda I think I I think I nailed that, and then yeah. they go, "I'm not fucking studying." Yeah, yeah. They just they, they stop studying. They just phone it in. They yeah. show. I was just at a funeral recently, and for no reason at all, the guy was just like, "You can tell he was fishing for stuff like with his notes," and he was like, "J, J, J, J." Yeah, everyone loved J. You know, everyone always had good things. He he worked at Spectrum. And he worked. At, he was kind of like he worked at Spectrum. Hey, uh, priest. Everyone loved him. Do when, your job, man. The guy's dead. He's like everyone loved him when he worked at Spectrum. And I was like, I don't even think he, even the family were like. What an irrelevant thing to bring up. It's like he didn't even work there that long. It was like... <laughs> it was he was there three months. Yeah. It's actually what killed him. It's a sore yeah. subject. Why are you bringing that up? <laughs> yeah, but these guys are just, uh, yeah, winging it. I like a priest, though. I like a good priest. I want. I'll, I don't like these these pastors where they go home and fuck their wife. That's insane. <laughs> That's genuine. Oh, is that what the difference is? Priests are married to God. and they're, they've, Yeah, they're, they're the about... priests are the devil ones that always do the diddling. You of Irish course, fuck, of course, you know of that. Course. Yeah, we, we, yeah, look, we got cute kids. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not my fault. It's not my fault. The you li- got diddle too, huh? <laughs> little red hair. That's a little chubby cheeked red haired baby. You, you, you about to diddle it. <laughs> oh, oh no. that's about to get diddled. <laughs> you, oh, it. diddly D. <laughs> diddly D. No, it's on him, man. Um, yeah, but the priests, they don't, they're, they're supposed to be celibate anyway. And that's like a thing that I was raised to. And then I remember one year I was at fucking church here and then the guy decided yapping about his wife and i go wait a second i go that guy's fucking married my girl's like yeah and i go wait he doesn't know anything about god he's gonna go home and eat his wife's pussy that's insane <laughs> the real man about god has no dick he's just god is in the pussy i've seen it it's not no they're celibate oh, they're all celibate or at least they pretend to be celibate they're really fucking all of their all everyone's wives <laughs> <laughs> the cult leaders they just go no 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 i'm celibate how funny is that that they say they're celibate and then start a sex cult or you know what i mean? I love that i love that that's my favorite it's like thing. that's the exact opposite <laughs> no but the best is when because the, the guys in charge always go i don't have sex and then they go look tom i'm sorry i just just got just talked to god he he wants me to fuck your wife and you're not allowed to fuck her anymore. And it's yeah. like, I hate having sex. You know me. I'm not. But God told me I have to fuck your wife and your 15-year-old daughter. It's just a thing. God said, that's not me. I'm the middleman. Don't shoot the messenger. Okay, David Koresh. That's exactly what they do. Yes. Yeah. yeah it was, it's that's smart. weird. And then that guy just has to go, because he's already believed in God for so much now. He's, he's like. He's already invested in the call. They've, you know? Yeah. They've just he's been. tilling the soil. They've been turning that do- <laughs> dial up slowly. What a slowly. sad world. That, uh, uh, something good gets twisted by a f- manipulators you know well here's the thing is if they just if they just don't they if they just stop fucking everyone they can kind of get away with it you just gotta not sexually abuse anyone you can physically and emotionally and (laughs) and financially abuse as many people as you want just keep your dick out of it that's all you gotta do yeah church you hear that (laughs) it really is stop diddling you reckon jesus was diddling no, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, he was. They no, all they all diddled no back way, then. It wasn't God. even a word. They hadn't even invented the word for diddle back no then. No way. There was no such thing as laws. <laughs> no. <laughs> Your wife was back. just whatever woman was closest to Edit, you. Edit, I got him on my chest right now. You'll uh, get I that. thought you were Irish. How dare I do. you? I do. No, I'm How just saying. Dare you? I'm saying he diddled women. Yeah, Shweya, don't you better strike him down with lightning after this. I so, heard you forgive, but don't forgive him. Man, if I got I don't if I got crushed by an eighteen wheeler later on today, that you know what sick. you said. That'd be pretty sick. Yeah, <laughs> accusing the, the the fucking yeah. So on the ayahuasca, you tap into that consciousness, and it's crazy. Mm. It's fucking gnarly, and then you just puke out the the childhood molestation. <laughs> 
Yeah. Okay. I, I've never been molested, so I don't know why I'll puke up. You will. Don't worry. We've all been molested. We all find out eventually. <laughs> You'll find out sooner or later. Um, I'm good. I don't. I don't if, oh. if I was molested and I don't remember, I don't need to open it up. I don't want to open go. it up. I'm bro. not going up. Come the, on, dog. I'm not going some hill in Come Burbank on. and hanging out with some here's fucking a Q-tip. Here's YouTubers. A Q-tip. <laughs> I get, instead of a, here's a Q-tip. Come with me. <laughs> no, I'll do that. I'll stick a Q-tip up my fucking. No, no, no. My eye, my cock eye. Hey, Popeye. Popeye. Oh man, my stomach hurts. Oil, too much Jesus oil. Jesus is making, you know, he's mad at it. <laughs> too right much power oil today. He said, hey, well, you better check this bowl. I'll give you diarrhea. <laughs> um, how much would the ayahuasca knock you back then? Oh, it's cheap, bro. The whole trip? It's six bucks. Where do you, what's oh. that? Like the whole trip, though? Where do you sleep? Do you sleep in a, a teepee? When do you, where are you sleeping? You bring tents. Oh, man, my tummy hurts. You cracking farts right there? No. You cracking farts on <laughs> no. a pod in a tiny no. little room? No, 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 he's no. Like, <laughs> No. Oh, my stomach hurts. <laughs> oh, God. It's wild <laughs> to see that. I've never had someone. You want to fart loud or Ooh. you don't fart? You can't just be like, <clears throat> and then go, no. <laughs> did you really crack one? <laughs> I don't care if you did, but oh, oh this thing. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, Bubble bro. Bubble guts right now? Oh, my fucking tummy. You start talking shit on Jesus, the devil woke up, bro. <laughs> that's the enemy. Doing dude. that, dude. The enemy is outnumbered. Don't, don't mind oh, that. Oh, see? That's what you get. <laughs> the Lord <laughs> fucking spites you with my stank. The enemy is outnumbered. What were we talking? I got it. We might have to pause. Hey, how are you? You need to pause. Have a shit. <laughs> no, I'll just keep going. While we fuck. You, you. I haven't farted on somebody since Dana Moon. Remember yeah. that one? Yeah. That was bad. You farted a long one just in the bad. room. You cracked one in the room. Yeah. That's fun though. It's funny. Yeah, it was. It's, good. it's funnier if a guest does it. Yeah, because it's a, bit, a little bit more brazen. If you do it, it's sort of more like you brought me here to fart on me. I'm sorry. That's more. Of, it's weird. I've it's, been working. It's like on a whole myself. thing. Is like, is he, are these cameras running? Who knows? Or what's <laughs> I've like. been trying real hard to be righteous, but you know, sometimes the devil slips out. <laughs> sometimes I think I, I don't know, but I know when I'm with my girl, she's like, "Did you just fart?" And I was like, "I don't know." And I, and she's like, "I think you did." And I was like, "Maybe I did." That's so I'm wondering how often do I fart, and I'm like, just not even aware of it. It's just like, yeah, it happens. Yeah. I've been farting my whole life. My whole family's farters. Even Fucking the me. white side. Yeah. Hell yeah. The brown side, all sides. Every, just farting, bro. I don't think it's a cultural thing, is it? Like, I farting? Think so. It's more... I know everybody farts. I'm I'm fucking... But, like, there's a little extra in my family. <laughs> like, people be quacking, dude. Just getting that knee up. Quacking. Getting, leaning into it. Yeah. Oh, it's nothing funnier than a fart. Oh, <laughs> nothing funnier. Good old funny God farts. Farts are the best. This never. If, if you're best sitting on a joke wood, in the world. wooden chair... And oh, get that fucking that, high pitched. Yeah, yeah, church fart. Oh, comes out the front. <laughs> it fucking tickles your ball. Everyone's, ball. everyone's, <laughs> ho- everyone's holy ghost. <laughs> <from the> fucking- <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Woo>, hallelujah. <laughs> uh, yeah, good old fucking fart is pretty damn funny. This shit's been cracking. We've been talking too fast, though. We gotta slow it down. <laughs> we read, we slow, we read we you a hundred long topics. haul. I don't know it. What else do I have? I don't know. We've been flying through stuff. I think we both have like ADHD, so we're flying into just. We do. I forgot I was talking about a funeral. How do you forget about that? A yeah. trauma. Yeah. I check out coping mechanism. Gabor mate. Not mate. <laughs> You're a fucking lunatic, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea to the, to the degree yeah, of dude. insanity I was walking in on. Come on, bro. <laughs> Would you, th- you think this is an act? People think this is an act. It's fucking. Like, <laughs> I knew you were out there. I just didn't nah, know how out I there. Su- I struggle. No, I balance. You know, but this a, it's a beautiful thing to do because that's my whole message. If I could do it, you could do it. You know what I'm saying? We winning, dog. We winning. I can't even remember what I'm doing every 45 seconds, and I still live by the beach. What's your excuse, huh? Huh? That must be nice, waking up every day, looking at the water. Oh, it's the best thing I've ever done That's in all my I fucking do. life. It makes me smile. It makes me happy. It's the best antidepressant I've ever had. Mm. Get yourself a cat, move by the beach. You're welcome. You don't need your fucking pills. You don't need it. Do both. Do both. Do the no, pills. No, no. Fuck your pills. <laughs> no, shout out Purdue. Go to Jesus. Shout out Purdue. You got Christ in you. West Side. <laughs> Is that a Japanese man? No. <laughs> West Side. <laughs> Where did you say that? 
You did. You <laughs> didn't say it like that. Well, I kind of did. Side? I was more Tupac. West Side. Um, <laughs> but I more. guess I sound like a Japanese man. When you do Tupac, West Side. West Side. I watched a lot of Ninja Turtles. I see no changes. I'm a fan of Splinter. Splinter. <laughs> Just had a lot of sugar today. I've been eating. That's it's good. better earlier in the morning. These what? podcast. I noon. It's early in the morning, <laughs> huh? Yeah. What time do you get up? Around ten. That's if it's early, about ten. That's good. I try to get up early, but that's it's kind of nuts. I'm doing comedy. Do you do now. the road like a son of a bitch? Uh, I am nowadays. Yeah, I'm getting yeah. busy now. Yeah. yeah. Come see me on the road, colinterrell dot com. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah. So I just um, I've been working with someone now lately, so we're getting busy, busy, busy. Nice. So we'll like, plug all your links, his special and his woo, tour dates and websites you. and IG thank and all the jazz. You getting out there? You're busy, right? Oh you're yeah. Busy. That's you're, right. You're busy. It's funny to sleep in, but then on like some days I have a gig on the East Coast and I have to wake up at four a.m. to catch the flight and you just land and go yeah. straight to the show. Yeah. Yeah. All that happened uh, in Greensboro. The plane just had malfunction, and we had to get off and get on a new plane. Delayed an hour and a half. I land when the show's supposed to start. Classic. Fucking go right there. And I'm just like, God, I've been in a plane for seven hours. Or like combined, it was no direct flights to Greensboro. So just like six, seven hours in a plane. Eight hours actually just sitting there waiting for nothing. Yeah. Made the fucking gig. My sister's texting me, asking me about hot sauce. I was like, not fucking now, you know? <laughs> and I am I feel so bad, but I'm like, dude. I'm, I can't even imagine a text about hot sauce. You know sauce. what I mean? <laughs> I, I got so mad. And I was like, why are you so mad? Because you're fucking worried about the gig. You just took the gig out on your poor sister. I'm like, hey, man. That's funny. I'm sorry, sister. What was she, what was the question about hot sauce? Do you even remember? She broke it or something. I was like, just watch the fucking cats. I don't care about a hot sauce. <laughs> oh my cats, don't bother oh, me. She was babysitting I'm surviving. The cats. You know when you're on the road, I'm doing three one nighters flying straight into ayahuasca. Course, my fucking, course. I'm on survival mode, bro. If it ain't emergency, don't fucking text me. It sounds so rude, but it's true. Anyways, it made the sure. gig half hour late. And what the host and all stretching? Everyone was stretching. I, Were you talking to the owner? No, the, owner's the like, host oh. was with me, Eric oh. Friedman. I bought a two-man show. We'd be savages out there. And so we just start the show that. like everyone. Uh, he's a good dude. Uh, he works at the Improv. He's a funny motherfucker. He's my road dog. I bring him. He's Woo. been helping me out a great deal opening and slinging Woo. my shit. But then, uh, oh, with a heckler. This one broad. You're not allowed to say that, but it's all right. She was rude. Um, she kept filming me like out, out the gate. And I let it go a little bit, but then it was just, it was staying there, you yeah, know? It yeah. wasn't for a, a second. I could handle 30 seconds. Yeah. Stay, I was like, hey, don't record. You know, took me right out of the joke, ruined the joke. I was like, come on, stop. And then she did. And then she brought it back up ah. again. <laughs> and I tried to ignore it, but it once again, it was staying. It was staying. Like, yeah. she wanted to record the whole hour. And I went, what are you doing? Like, stop. And yeah. I made it funny. I was like, I do not consent, please. I'm like, no. <laughs> and people were laughing, but she didn't understand. No. And she got like mad. Yeah. And she's like, no, I'm just really excited. And I, I'm so happy to see you. And I'm, I'm a big fan. I was like, okay, then put the fucking camera down. <laughs> put yeah. it down. And it's fine. Yeah. It's always she like wouldn't do it. And then she got so weird. And she kept getting up, walking to the bar and like heckling me. But like with just not being happy but i'm just i'm like fuck it she's took enough of my energy and she's ruining this i'm gonna ignore it now mm. and i don't want to go there you know it's just a distraction when you see then, people, i hate when you see people recording it. oh bro because i'm I, I go to myself i go what is that possibly for yeah and front not, row bro front row yeah 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 like uh like the, this distance what is this <laughs> six feet terrible angle six feet <laughs> And like then, go to the back. Do it in the dark. I'll never yeah. know. It's also, I'll never know. You're right fucking here. It's also like, wait a year. I'm going to hire people with much better cameras. <laughs> and I'm going to record this. And then I'll post it on YouTube for you to watch for free. Dude, it was so crazy. And then she ended up, after getting up and going to the bar like two to three times, she left. She, she left. She never came back? No, she left halfway through. I've, what a cycle. <laughs> oh, fucking, I'm so happy. I'm such a fan. I'm going to ruin your night. For uh, 150, 200 people. Front row. Make it awful. awkward for everybody. But front You're row. You're awful, lady. Yeah. Like, fucking grow up. What are you? Put the fucking camera down and be human. <laughs> Sit in the yeah. fucking moment. Your stupid fucking camera nearly ruined the show for everybody. I salvage. <laughs> I'm a salvager. We powered through. But in my head, I'm delivering love and light going, man, fuck this bitch. What's she doing? You know what I mean? You know how hard it is to deliver jokes? Yeah. Be sweet and positive trying to change fools and shit. 
telling them, don't stick Q-tips down your dick. Don't do what I've done. You know? Hey, do you ever... Yeah, Jeff. <laughs> you know how hard that is to make that funny? Yeah. Do you ever um, just ignore someone, though, for the whole show, and then you get to the very end, and you go, all right. Yeah. You've been talking the whole fucking show. It's the final bit. Please. Promise me you won't say that. And, or you gotta go. I did that Cause in Winnipeg. Because sometimes you start these fights where you go, can you shut your fucking cunt face up? Yeah. And then everyone's like, what the fuck was that? And I go, I promise you, this person up the front, you don't know because you're They've been like, talking the entire show. Yeah. Well, I look, try you, to bulldoze them and ignore them because I don't want to deal with it because yeah. usually it gets a little weird. Yeah. And you could just steamroll them with laughter. You, you shut them up just by ignore killing them. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in Winnipeg, this guy kept coming in and then finally I was like, bro. I got five minutes. Can you shut the fuck up? Yeah. For five minutes, I'm gonna close. And then he he-, he heckled me on right before a punchline, and I said, "Get the fuck out." And it was for like the final two or three minutes. Yes, yeah, so but I weird. wouldn't. Of course. I was like, "No." I and everyone it. was like, "Is he serious?" I'm like, "Yeah." I was like, "Hey, get him." Yeah. And then I got get him. <laughs> get the fuck Who's- out. Who's- and then I stabbed him in the in the parking lot. No, it's <laughs> nice. And then I fucking slid his face it's right for my cousin. Oh, fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> Get up. For yeah. baby bozo. <laughs> Hell yeah. Shout out to baby bozo. He's in the hole right now. Stay up, pimpin. Anyways. That'd be yeah, that'd be pretty sick to <laughs> people think that's a joke. <laughs> pretty pretty sick to stab a fucking heckler to death. <laughs> it's not. Pretty damn uh-huh. comedian destroys heckler <laughs> in car park with knife <laughs> <laughs> two weeks later. <laughs> <laughs> just uh-huh. I got anger from them. Yeah, Why do you think I'm doing ayahuasca? Let go of the rage. No, sometimes you gotta stop people. I agree. Anyways, <laughs> what are we what are we talking about? Sometimes you gotta stop people. <laughs> Sounds rational to me. <laughs> sometimes you just get bored on a Saturday night. I don't know about that. Morning, so it's you guys, more like you so threaten you, my family. You go around my... the neighborhood and you just check which doors are <laughs> no, open. Okay, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, guy is yeah, really yeah, twisting yeah, the yeah, message. Yeah, yeah. Wants more in, protection. You walk in, you go <laughs> protect <laughs> your family. You go shh, 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 if you scream, I'll kill everyone else, and then <laughs> you kill them anyway. Okay, this Irish guy. That's what you do. You say you make a fucking noise. I'm coming back for your sister. Check out my. <laughs> Check out my stand-up special on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen uh, to him. We kill, but with love. Yeah, I'm that's sorry. how we. I'm just kidding. We just more protector because it's you know a little bit of evil out there, just a wee bit. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Namaste, love, forgiving. We forgive our trust. What, what if a dog? What if a, what if your cat told you to kill someone? <laughs> like if you were looking at your cat and your cat was just like, "Yo, <laughs> can you kill someone for me?" I'd be like, what'd they do? You go, they're Asian? They're Asian? Then that's no. A, that's the only... That's ex- not enough. I, but it's your cat. He must know something. No, no, no. I like cats. So if a cat tells me to kill someone... You I'm got cats? Be, no, no. <laughs> not allowed any pets. I have four. You have four cats? Yeah. That is a few too many. Says who? <laughs> Says society. No. <laughs> it's too much. And hey, when they make you so pussy over there in Ireland over there. I, there's no way I just first of all first of all, there's no such thing as indoor cats in my country. You fucking you live in the alleyway. Get out of here, you're gay ass inside cats. <laughs> I thought you guys had grit. Oh, yeah, you I'm took like, on the fucking British Parliament. Oh, like, NRA, right? No, no, no. IRA. <laughs> IRA. Yeah. yeah. Salute. That's some savages over up there. The, your, people, the raft, folks. your people went against one of the biggest, most technical, technology advanced armies ever, and they fucking won yeah. through it's bombs and only revolvers. Small. That's a people. Only That's really savage. Is. Get off my land. It's only a small population, too. It wasn't like... That's what I mean. It's not like everyone was fighting the English. It was only a few... Yeah, splinter groups kind of were like resistance. Fuck this. Most people were kind of just happy to keep going with the system because most times you get no. occupied. No, fuck them. You get occupied most of the time. You're kind of just like you continue with your day to day life. It's like the sure the power is to be. You're just now paying tax to another cunt who's not helping. Our country me. needs to learn from you. I think we need to uprise. But who's in charge of the country? It's, there's no like corporations, lobbyists, money. Central banks, not yeah, the puppets. It's, but it's not like we're the French invaded and took over America, so we can just go kill the French. It's like who's the the guy? There's no like person to overthrow because we are the people. The military occupying your home, town, telling you what to do. Um, that's crazy. You yeah. know, like right, like what was that? Eighties, nineties, still it, going on, huh? Uh, no. It first of all, it was for the last nine hundred years. Uh, yeah, I knew they'd know <laughs> that. It started nine hundred years ago. <laughs> and they, and uh, we got our freedom in the early nineteen hundreds, but they kept the north. Mm. The island of Ireland. They didn't have to separate because 
they when England took over, they gave a lot of the land up north to um, Scottish Protestants. So they just came in and was like, this is all our land now, get the fuck off. So all the Protestants moved over there. So that's why when they were separating the country, we got our freedom. They were like, we can give you all of this, but just we've got way too many of our own people up in those regions. So we, we got to keep that. So part of the negotiation deal was like, all right, for now you can keep them. And now it's like 100 years later and they still have them. And then, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just remember uh, learning about that and watching so much shit on y'all. And I, and I love the tenacity of the people just... Just saying, fuck you, get out of here. Something about a nice uh, bomb. <laughs> no, just, <laughs> just nice that sounds bomb. so crazy. But the crazy thing is, is they're invading sovereign land and taking your shit. Yeah. Like, that's the crazy part. I love. But they did that in forever. Know, the 13th the, century. I know. The whole. The whole 1300s damn, or something. That British Empire has been running amok for a thousand years, you know? They really just got it going on. I don't know how they figured it out, but they really whooped a lot of ass. They really did. And just, in a, just searching for. Peppers and stuff. They were just they whooped they, Napoleon. They whooped. They whooped wanted, the Nazis. They, they wanted whooped, spices, dude. They went over whooped India. They, they whooped, whooped China, Australia, the West Indies, Jamaica. All these guys. Yeah. They whooped everyone. They whooped everybody until the fucking U.S. of A. showed up. Now George Washington said, "Fuck these guys." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he, it was like when like when a UFC fighter who just can't get beaten. Someday <laughs> one one guy goes, "I think he's got a weak spot." Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think I noticed how to do it, and George Washington. It. Because he fought like the Native Americans. He fucking let hide us bomb. They, they, he's like, I'm not standing in the line waiting to get shot. I'll sneak behind you, slit your throat. That's how George Run. Washington fought, was it? Yeah. Like fucking Bob Steven and Weed, Seagal. Baby. <laughs> they, he's yeah. like, Steven Seagal, come up. <laughs> 58 dead on a cruise ship. Dude, I love that shit. They used to line up and be like, take turns shooting each other. Oh, no. The, the way people fought was crazy. Where they go, hey. all right. My my thousand people are gonna walk into your thousand people, and they were just sort of meet and crush and all be <laughs> yeah. dead. Like and some guys just on, on a on a mountain <laughs> and a horse going whoopsie. <laughs> what I guess, a I guess weird we lost way to water. fight! <laughs> what a horrible way to what, fight where you can see yeah. the guy f four I'm minutes. Like, I don't know. He's four minutes know. away, just walking slowly, <laughs> and you're going uh oh. <laughs> yeah yeah. <laughs> Call me crazy, but I want to bob and weave a little bit. That's the problem. They have these ideas of war too. Well, Hollywood, where everyone's like spinning around and all this stuff. It's like mostly just like a mosh pit of just people just crushed each other to that kind of until eventually you took over i cannot believe how wars used to be fought i mean now it's still crazy it's just a bomb from above it's just a drone shout out to obama and the drone wars west side oh, that was obama. a joke obama. that was a joke the funny thing is about obama i didn't learn any of the shit he did till like six years after office i was like hey i thought you were the good one Nah, yeah, he, I know. It, again, he dropped more bombs than any president. Yeah, but where did where did he do this and when did he do this? Because that's as Yemen, far. Because people just Yemen. tell me he's like he bombed a bunch of people. Like, oh, Yemen, sounds about right. Libya, uh, bunch. I didn't even know. I like. See, I didn't you, hear. you go the bunch, but you could, we should know. Well, Afghan, Iraq. He continued. Who did the, he tell? To, who did he tell to bomb? Who did he go? Hey, bomb. He started fucking. three or four. Google's man. Come on, this. Guy I know, but I'm saying. Fucking, I, I'm, why do I got to tell you every time? I'm not. Every time you see me struggle, pull out your goddamn phone. The thing is, I'm I'm like you too. Where I was like, you know, I'm bombed everyone, and then someone's like, yeah, where? And I go, I don't know. That's a that's my as far as my talking point goes. Yeah, <laughs> that's my talk. That's my one. I point. know. I got, I wasn't expecting a follow up. No, question. I know it was Yemen. <laughs> I know it was Libya. There was Syria? like two more. Syria. Oh, Syria. Syria. Yeah, sounds, sounds, sounds about right. All right, Tiger. What is it? Who did I'm Obama? Not there yet. Didn't they overthrow fucking? Yet? Um, was it Egypt? Libya, M yeah. Mugafi? Yeah. What's that's, his name? That's Libya. Mugafi. The Mug sovereign land that was thriving and had a ton of money and thriving economy, he bombed and wrecked and ruined, and now their biggest commodity is like human trafficking and slaves and shit. It's crazy. And then, and Oldest with, profession in the world? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> human trafficking. And, uh, and, they, and he did that. He did that. And I learned that recently. And I was like, hey. I know, but listen. Hey. Is it possible that kind Why? Of as a member of the LGBT so got, this community. Is just 2016, there was 26,171 bombs dropped. Ooh, that's in a lot. Syria, Iraq, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, Afghanistan, and Pakistan. Somalia and Pakistan, those are the two I forgot. Didn't even I knew know the rest. Pa Pakistan was that's an enemy. That's what I mean. Pakistan's an enemy? Didn't even know that. How many bombs again? 20. Only, there was 26,000. Only 26,000, In guys. 2016 oh. alone. Oh. Anyway, and could Obama at any time have put a stop to all of that? Could he... Like, does he actually have the power to be like, yo, no more bombing? Or yeah, is it kind of like, he has to go through the... I mean, no, because he command. answers to money and whoever funds this shit because the policies never change. BlackRock. He yeah, BlackRock, Vanguard. There's another one. There's like three corporations that Ra run Raytheon, the world. Raytheon, is it? 
What's the what's the what's military? Some of those. What's the yeah. weapons? Raytheon was Raytheon, Lockheed Martin, Northrop <laughs> Grumman. They're all Ooh. evil bastards. The uprising is coming. We're about to have some fucking yeah. heads on a spike. Ayahuasca. We need some heads on a spike, dude. I agree. I love this guy. Minus the racist <laughs> shit. I didn't say a single thing. I was racist. I don't think. And the child diddling. He's promoting. I did promote child diddling. <laughs> <laughs> and that's a hill I'm willing to die on, folks. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's so pro child diddling. I do. Everything else I, I agree with, but that with just that? his one flaw. Um, in you, one year, I thought. See, I was thinking twenty six thousand bombs in one year. I thought it was four years. Gee, many crickets. They said that he bombed so much that they actually ran out of bombs. I've never heard that happening before. This is America. <laughs> Gotta make more bombs. Yeah, I even used them all. No, yeah. Well, it's weird if they fucking make all these bombs and don't use them. That's almost like in a weird way. I would rather have that than the murder a bunch of. Stuff. I'd rather they just don't make the bombs at all. You know? Yeah, you're right. You're Can right. We hey, how out? about a garden? How about you fund yeah. some farms instead of the bombs? Some fucking fruit and veg. Yeah, for the boys. organic fruit and veg for the boys. How about you go <laughs> bomb Bill Gates? How about that? Uh-huh. I didn't say that. Allegedly, we're just joking. Anyhow, <laughs> let's go back to uh, something else here. We're getting Allegedly a little hot bomb. topic. You could bu- you could try bomb Bill Gates, I guess. You know, I'm gonna bomb with this fart, you frog fucker, that <laughs> mosquito motherfucker. <laughs> frog fucker. Anyways, um, how are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um. Okay. Um. All right. Yeah, we could we could bomb Bill Gates, I guess. But it's we'll just, we're, how no, we isolate? We're trying to get we, off. I'm no, trying to change this. No, I, I want to. No, no, no. <laughs> I want to figure out no, how no, it's. No. I don't know if the logistics are possible <laughs> for us to yeah. do such a thing. We have to wait until he's on a boat in Monaco or something so that there's no casualties. He went to that island a lot. Uh, Anyhow. (laughs) uh, That is true. That is very true. Um, Why isn't anyone talking about that? Because he's got money. Um, Chris Tucker. He went to the island? Apparently, yeah. How many times? I don't know. I was going to say one time you could be tricked, but if one you went time 36 a, times, one, one time is a corporate something's gig. afoot. One time is a corporate gig, yeah. It's like, yeah. It's, they yeah. could be like, hey, we're going to this billionaire island. you want to come? A free food. Like, Hell yeah. And they'd be yeah. like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah that's kind of quite funny. The, I, the idea of Chris Tucker is like two days on the island and he has to realize it's He's like, like pedophiles. Jesus Christ. Jackie! <laughs> Get me out of here! <laughs> Jackie, I'm on an island full of pedophiles. Jackie! God, save me! No, what but- are we doing, Jackie? 34 times? Goo. <laughs> Guilty. Maybe it's a nice Guilty. island. Maybe it's a nice island. No, but back to... Uh, no, I had something positive. Where we have a go? new one. Maybe don't spread love. Hang on. Love. Spread the consciousness. Oh, I forgot. That's all right. Damn it. You... Something's afoot. Anyways. No, hang on. <laughs> hang on. Come back to me, brain. Come on, trauma. Go away. Uh, Shit. Yeah, that's it, bro. That's that's our pot. <laughs> no, I'm just. <laughs> oh, I guess the positive question. There was a positive oh, question. Oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> um, Texan got a show show tonight. We're gonna have a good show. Oh yeah. The homie just text Sick. guest list night. <clears throat> um, I gotta turn in this guest list real damn soon. But uh, what room is that in? The upstairs belly room? room. Yeah. Nice. Sick. Um. Oh, a, a bad event in your life that changed you for the better. Something happened that you go, oh, fuck, I better clean up my act. For instance, you uh, in the Uber fighting them off, helping you into your home, and you're like, I need to get sober. Stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Uh, so a bad incident that maybe get better? You're know. like, I'm still bad. I'm still pretty <laughs> bad. I've had a lot of places, that I've had a lot of bad incident, incidents that I highlighted that I should get better, and then I'm like, that's pretty good that I've noticed. Keep planting them seeds. One time, one will sprout. <laughs> exactly. Takes a lot of bottoms. Yes. You know? A lot of rock bottoms. land of changing. Yes. That's for... But I as think. long as you get there, you know? It's hard to think of that off the top. Um, it's hard to think of that off the top. Okay. A good a pooping bat- of the pants story then. Oh, I'm, you I'm, shit your I'm, drawers. I'm often shitting my pants. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. I could tell. <laughs> you look like I'm a, a shitter. What's, what's the average number? Because I thought it was pretty common for people to be shitting themselves. It turns out it was like... People are like I'm that's the, what I thought. People are like four. <laughs> people are like four times a, uh, their life. I'm like what? I'm like at least monthly, like yeah. period. Yeah, that's, that's how I know. I'm that's how you know you should get sober right there. When you shit your pants, well, I shit my pants. Well, I was, but like I, once a year now I, that I'm sober. I think it's mostly because of coffee and cocaine and laxatives. Yeah, the but now they doesn't... switch laxatives with fentanyl. Be careful out there, kids. Don't do drugs. So you don't drink anymore? Oh no, ten years sober, bro. Oh, nice. And then you're not shitting your pants as often? No, not nearly well, as much. I, I shit my pants recently. Um, 
and it just happened there just was one of these things it just happened like i was carrying a bag of stuff into my hotel and then it was one of these doors where you have to like put the stuff down and whatever and i was dying for a shit at that point and when i bent down and put a lot of pressure i was Ooh. like oh no got the thing picked it up again by the time i closed the door it was all it was Ooh. just coming out it was just coming oh, out. down the leg it was it was every all over yeah oh it was, that's it was, horrible. it was horrible most of my shits have been sharts in the recent yeah, years the big sharts. sharts but some bigger like the big dookies i sprayed some walls before i bent down and just went Sah! you know happens like it may remind me of bad grandpa when he shits on the wall. That's why I laugh so hard at that because I've actually done that. Yeah. I've done that. People shit on walls, yeah. It, well, people do it intentionally. This was on accident. No, I, no this, this was explosive diarrhea and the bend. Yeah. The bend, <laughs> you know, just uh, a, wow. A, f a friend of mine used to work in uh, up on the Appalachian Trail, right? Or at least I think it was part of the Appalachian Trail. Does that go up to upstate New York? But he's one of these fucking hikes up in like where it's like when these people are hiking, they're hiking for like days, you know. Yeah. And this was one of the places where they'd stop, and he would come in, and his job was to clean the bathrooms in the morning because these guys are hiking. They find a bathroom. They used. He said they used to fuck. The place would be destroyed. He said the woman, the woman's bathroom was the worst thing you'd ever walk into. Like they had to power hose the whole thing down. What people, are they doing? Because they're there? eating berries and rations and plumpy nut or whatever they do to carry themselves through the hike. They're hiking for weeks, these guys. I'm just saying, if you're going to spray the walls with shit, why not just spray nature and that's, let it do its thing? I don't know. Maybe it just flies out. Maybe they got, like, whatever you had on your dick hole, they have on their asshole. So it's, like, fine. <laughs> like, same equivalent. <laughs> We're not a new bigger Q-tip. <laughs> I'm telling you. It's oh flying God. out. He used to say, yeah, that was his job. He was, like, a young teenager. And, like, every day he'd come in. And first job was he had to go in and he'd, like, get this big hose and, like, a fucking... We worked at Trader Joe's. There's always some asshole that shit on the walls. It's crazy. They yeah. make that poor bastard. I ain't going to name him. <laughs> it's hot outside. It's hot outside, you know? Yeah. He'd always have to clean up the big dookies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I used He's to. He's like, man, this fucked up, man. <laughs> Why I gotta do it? <laughs> Dude, when I worked in construction too, I worked with a lot of people that come from countries where the toilets are like they they use squats, so they squat into holes. You know those? Like, have you ever had to do that? Squat in a hole? Have you ever gone to a country where instead of a toilet, like it's no, not yet. Yeah. We, we it's, not where you see. You got to squat down. They got like yeah. a bar. It like, comes out it's, better. It's, it's a problem. It yeah, it's better. supposed to. It's like that's why everyone has the, uh, the yeah squatty pipes. I got bodies. one. Of course, they help. It's it's science. It's science. Squat when you poop. So if these and give birth. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, squat when you give birth too. Yeah, same concept. Rather Gravity than like, rather than lay flat on your back and push. Stand squat. <laughs> they do it in a lot of other countries. It's you know lost its way over here, but yeah. yeah. I remember lazy. learning that, and I'm, that just makes logical sense. Like, like this or like this. Yeah. I have a feeling this way is going to be a little easier. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Same as the dookie. Yeah. Once your knee is up, once yeah. you get down, no, the knee is up. You're designed to. It's coming out. That's what's coming out. But yeah. some people they don't like when they move here. They don't like using the sit down toilets because they're used to squatting. So what they'll do is they stand on a toilet seat, like facing and then they I caught squat. my roommate they're on squat. tour doing that once they, he, and he jumped off I tried to get a picture of him he was, he was he, standing yeah. on the toilet perched like, what like the a fuck are you doing bro and I went like this yeah. and he jumped into the shower like, like no perched like a gargoyle type of a thing yeah. yeah so I would come into the bathroom at work and it'd be like construction boot like mud you'll see like yeah. two boots where it's like the guy was obviously and then sometimes people would shit but they'd miss the thing so they'd be like just <laughs> shit on the ground they need to make the holes bigger you know they need to have one for each one for yeah. the because you got to Thailand. And we need they bidets. You want to save the planet. Get a bidet. No toilet paper. Besides, they put forever chemicals in it. And I just learned that. And I got fucking chemicals in my butthole. What's a forever chemical? Ah, oh, I don't know. It'll ruin your life. Um, <laughs> a new thing I just learned that's in most everything. It's in receipt paper. It's a forever chemical. And it messes yeah. with us and gives us cancer and all that shit. Ah, give yeah, it to more me. More shit. Give me the I cancer. I know. What are you going to do? I'm done. I've it's seen fun. it all. It's in the toilet paper. Seen it all. I've eaten PFAs. All. What do they call Chris? PFAs, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I just learned about it. I'm like, oh, come on. Too many things, dog. Too much cancer. Yeah. How about no poison? That's my joke. They always go, it's just a little bit of poison. I'm like, hey, how about no poison? How about no poison? Is that <laughs> it's, so hard? It's, it's just, only a little bit. That is how they do it. It's just, it's just a tiny fraction of poison. <laughs> how, about, how about none? They got a new one that's going viral right now. Fuck, I forgot the name, but it's an acetone and paint thinner. It's something like, hey, yeah, Google's. Get at me, tiger. Back me up. There's a chemical and fucking paint thinner that's in Lucky Charms, bro. 
And you're, and then, don't mention, that, but don't mention them to me. Don't but, mention them to me. I'm getting through. Know, know. This is why but, we told you. That's the whole point. That's what we, we've been warning you the whole time. <laughs> but somebody was like, oh, it's only a little bit. I'm like, hey, how about no bit? Yeah, how about look, no bits? What if the lucky charm what leprechaun? What the fuck, dog? The lucky charm leprechaun was, tr- was trying to warn you from the inside. He saw what was in there. Yeah, and he's yeah. like, stay away. What's it called, Chris? Stay away from the lucky charm. It's called tribasic sodium phosphate. There it is, tiger. Oh, uh-uh. Take the lucky charms away from the children. T-S it's got paint thinner in it. Yeah, dog, it's a crazy world we live in. Monsters. Anyways, Just, well, yeah. Uh, what about all the fi- all the fucking fish are eating all the plastics turned into plastic? We're eating that too. No. We're, we're, it's everything we. But you know, again, who I, the fuck? Who honestly? Who the fuck are you to not be poisoned <laughs> by a conglomerate? Really? Tell me one. Give me one good reason why we all shouldn't be poisoned by these rich it's people. It's kind of a fair request. What are they? Are they not eating Lucky Charms? Then is there like a it, like is there someone someone's <laughs> dead? <laughs> Whoever's dad owns fucking Pfizer, is his? Is he not allowed to eat Lucky Charms? They probably have some sort of extra machine that pulls it all out of them yeah, when they, they sleep. You know, <laughs> they've got a little chamber like in that one this, movie. Was that Elysium with yeah. Matt Damon? They go and pulls it all out. Yeah, and it spins and like then DNA. And they don't die like us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They got some billion dollar machine they hoard for themselves, and the Gen Pop just takes the plastic and the glyphosate up their butthole or whatever the fuck it's called. Too many, too many, that too is many. Interesting. Too many chemicals. Anyways, hmm. Namaste. Namaste. I think that's all I got, Tiger. You got anything else? No, thank you so much. A lot of fun. I'm about to Time shit to my up. pants, and I got to turn in guest list to the comedy store. And no, this has been cracking. Um, minus two things about Christ and pedophilia. It's been. Everton I, could, was, I agree with you. Everton was <laughs> minus uh, those three things. Now nah, Everton was said in jest. <laughs> <laughs> Don't believe a word I said. I have no opinions on anything. Whatever you agree with, I also agree with. <laughs> okay, buy tickets. <laughs> buy tickets for me on the road. <laughs> um, but yeah, you little firecracker. Thanks, bud. Uh, uh, much respect to you and your hustle. Thanks you for too. doing the pod. Glad we got to do I'll it. see you tonight at the show. I'll Can't see you wait. in them streets. Fight the good fight. IRA. Yeah, something right. Yeah, America. Anyways, namaste. Tune in. Peace.